pranams at Bhagwan's lotus feet, co-travelers and path of spirituality, I take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude to Bhagwan on the occasions of the 95th birthday celebrations to share with you all how Swami has taken me from stage to stage to for the journey of I E Y E to capital I. Okay, let's begin. I will be uh, giving very brief, quick ones, some pointers, and then come wherever uh, details will be given, whenever wherever Bhagwan has uh, really guided me. Basically, I come from devout family. My father, mother. They were uh, on path of bhakti marg. My father used to bring uh, sages, saints, seers in the house to serve them and seek their blessings for the entire family. When I was five, seven years old, I don't remember exactly the date. Uh, my father once he brought the young sadhu in our house. And uh, he went in the uh, kitchen to bring something for Sadhu. I got an opportunity. Innocently, I asked Sadhu that, uh, "Why are you wearing this uh, akka robe?" Then he looked at me. He said, "You are very small. You don't understand now. <laughs> you study and uh, get a job, then." You will be able to understand. I told him then, why have you not done that? Why are you advising me what you have not done? He had no answer. Then uh, I continued my studies, finished uh, higher secondary school, I joined first year science, which was quite away from my house. It used to take about one hour from home to reach the college. First year science, early morning, I used to go for uh, to start the practicals, chemistry practicals. One such day, one gentleman was traveling with me in double decker bus, and I was thinking deeply. Person was watching me. Then uh, he when. I got down for my college. He also got down at that point. Maybe uh, he was going for a business. I don't know. Then he caught my, caught me and put his hand on my shoulder and said, "Young man, what are you thinking deeply?" I looked into eyes. I asked him, "Do you know the purpose of life? What is this all we are doing? Study, get job, get married, and die. What's the purpose of life?" He had no answer. He put his eyes down and went away. <laughs> so, likewise, I uh, continue my studies to the best of my capabilities and uh, neglect not neglecting anything. I reached finally a chemical engineering. Now, in final year chemical engineering, I had finished all the papers and very severe. Tonsillitis, 104 fever. I couldn't finish my final paper. And those years, uh, you had to wait for more than a year to reappear. No semester system. Now, what to do? It was a big jolt. I had never accepted any defeat in my life because I used to believe, apna hot jagannath. I can achieve anything with my efforts. Then, what to do now? And I was from a humble family. All were waiting for me to complete chemical engineering and uh, start earning. My, I had no mind to share my defeat, so to say. But I went to my school mentor. 
he understood by that time he had become principal of another school Swami Vivekananda High School he said come why don't you join temporarily uh, to replace a teacher who has gone on maternity leave your mind will be occupied and it is for higher secondary school 10th 11th class social uh, sorry mathematics and chemistry physics which is very easy for you i said okay now it so happened that this school was uh, engaged in satya sai seva activities very actively involved then uh, during that uh, period this was 1968 march during that period swami ji came to mumbai which i didn't know anything about swami ji and uh, uh, he uh, had organized uh, some get together rather i that time i consider get together but uh, students for darshan and our school that where i was working swami vivekananda high school was also invited to represent with the senior students with few teachers i was chosen to take the students there then while uh, we were seated for darshan they said that uh, swami will come to give darshan i said what is name i said bhagwan shri satya sai baba okay he came i didn't have any uh, attraction or, or uh, the inclination to go and take his namaskar nothing i just saw then they said that swami ji is going to give a speech okay he started on modern education comparing the gurukula ashram and what are the ways we can go back to the original systems now he was speaking so high of scriptures and the puranas and vedas so my first impression was hey, this swami ji is very intelligent well read then in between during the discourse swami ji gave one uh, uh, long sentence the translator couldn't translate in english and swami ji himself gave the translation then i asked the neighbor hey, this swami ji can speak in english then why did he speak in some different language then they said that he has given a promise to his mother wherever he speaks publicly he will speak in telugu the mother tongue i said oh he is man of principles then cutting the long story short finished my chemical engineering waiting whatever required time then uh, got a good job in a very good company worked there for several years say 10 years from 69 to i was continuing 10 years had passed then 78 december uh, there was a proposal that i should get married pressure from the company as well as from my parents so 79 finally got married and they send the the company gave an assignment to go two years to holland then uh the family from where i got the partner happened to be satyasai family meaning they were devotees of bhagwan um i had not yet uh, i was not drawn fully to bhagwan so i told my wife please do not force me to uh, stand or chant vedas or mantras i don't know anything then she said that uh, in the evening it is our uh, custom to offer aarti in to bhagwan she was not prepared because i told her please don't involve myself in any activities so she was offering 
aarti using one candle in the middle of the aarti i saw that the swami ji was in white robe and the flame of candle shining face of bhagwan looking at me and smiling i thought that whether i'm hallucinating i wanted to disturb my wife but uh, she said please allow me to finish aarti in the meantime one candle became nine candle in semi elliptical form all nine saw me watching me and uh, uh, giving abhast i couldn't control myself the chemistry of a chemical engineer was uh, or being a chemical engineer uh, the mind was totally unable to absorb anyway many ups and downs i observed in holland when i told her that you didn't see this she said no i thought that okay maybe my uh, good luck or whatever it is whatever problems i faced in in uh, holland i used to tell her hey tell your sai baba this problem and many such things happened many 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 miracles which i don't want to because focus is not to share the miracles at the moment then we finished the assignment came back to india but lot of things happened my health was not too good because was i was working in chemical industries doctors are telling many big big things my wife suggested let's go to parthi first time i visited in 1982 now here is the very important significant change swami ji came for darshan and i looked at him i was fourth from the front row those years there were no such tight security control like a prince i got up and went straight put my head on swami ji's feet i was taken to a different world i don't know what happened what current what vibrations passed through my beingness that i was in a different level of consciousness only thing i remember at that moment somebody patted me i got up went back and sat to my seat with a firm conviction he is god how could i say that during my fathers he used to uh, invite so many sages saints seers from himalayas and anywhere he used to ask me to touch their feet never nothing happened here first time which i couldn't absorb what was this there really chemistry of the mind of a chemical engineer got totally transformed i started reading some jis book in fact from holland onwards when i saw miracles happening and uh, i kept on uh, understanding putting to practice that what he wants he says i am god you also god only thing is you don't know and i know and you have to remove the uh, impurities from your mind and the best way is nama sumran so i took that as a clue a best sadhana every time nam sum even breathing instead of breathing in and out sai ra sai ra walking sai ra then uh, after i came back from holland little more stirring started my health deteriorated my wife's health my daughter's health my father passed away then uh, i had to leave the job because uh, uh, i could see this health hazards being a chemical engineer in the working in the petrochemical camp- complex so i had to leave the job and i was my on my own 
Then, 1984, one uh, Indian exporter, fruit exporter, he uh, gave me an assignment to go to London and uh, uh, the advertise export of mangoes from uh, Bombay to London. One day, I was uh, going to the there in London, Western International Market. After getting down from double decker bus, I had to walk 20 minutes. Every day routine was. So, it uh, started the hell storm. I was not prepared for that. In order to generate heat within myself, I just very loudly chanted, Sai Ram, Sai Ram, Sai Ram, Sai Ram. In moments, Swamiji physically appeared there and putting his hand on my shoulder told me, hmm, 20 minutes we walked together. I reached, we reached international market and I was fully drenched with the rains and hell storm and I wanted to wipe my face I saw there was no, not even a dot of no, not even a drop of water on Swami's robe so just I wanted to wipe my face and I saw Swami disappearing in thin air like a madcap Swami Swami so it gave me a lesson power of Namasamran wherever you are if you chant his name he can do anything. There are no limitations with him. I'm just giving you pointers, please. I'm not describing any even in details. Then 1985. I used to come to Parthi very often, ever since I left my job, early job. 1985, with Swami's permission, Swami sent me to Bahrain, Middle East countries. There, I had to face big music. My immediate boss was very <laughs> different nature. And before going there, before us accepting the assignment, Bhagavan had told me a mantra, see God in everyone. With that love and compassion and command from the Lord. So much so that I had taken Vibhuti blessed by Swami from here, even the sand under Swami's feet and uh, I took it to Bahrain. Bahrain, I was made in charge of uh, uh, the water treatment plant, desalination, RO plant, desalination of saline water into potable water. Now, a lot of problems there, but chanting his name, remembering him was the best solution. My immediate boss used to fire at me, remembering that Swami, what Swami has told me, I always used to address. Yes, Swami. Yes, Swami. Now, see from the, the spiritual path journey, by facing these difficulties, wonderful thing happened. Not in a year I had, I had completed over there, I felt that I should come here. Why? Because Swamiji had started the MBA course here, 1986. Early 86, I came to know. Then, uh, I came here and uh, got an interview with Bhagwan. Swami said, go, come back in a month's time. I went there, resigned, faced a lot of difficulties. So much so that uh, they suspected me to be technical spy. And uh, they sent all my detailed reports to Sheikh of the country. When I came to know that, somebody told me over there, I told them that Sheikh of all the Sheikhs, he has told me, come back in a month's time, resign and come back in a month's time. Let me see who prevents me from going back to India. I did come back. In fact, uh, 
last day when i was leaving i met the finance director of the country he gave me he told me that here is your visa back and the salary the bonus voucher for packers first class air ticket for you and your family sheikh of this country is so happy with you doors of this country is always open come any time so this is power of his word when he said come back in a month's time when i came back in number exactly 34 years back samji appointed me a professor for mba boys it was wonderful joyful occasion samji asked me what do you want to do i said samji i want to be here very happy i'll give you a good job i'll take care of all your problems physical financial social spiritual leave it to me soon after that few months i some allowed me to go and uh, uh, start the lectures he gave me wonderful inputs that do not speak to the boys if you are not practice and if you are not seen what the result is you can't just preach practice first otherwise you lose the respect in the eyes of students that was a very nice uh, input to me and boys should not be able to find what you tell them in the textbooks it should be directly your own understanding out of experience i don't know i what happened in one uh, interview after a few months the swami i asked swami ji i know you are avatar i don't know how to make best use of avatar i want to listen from avatar's mouth how to make use of avatar swami stared at me while distributing vibhuti in the interview vibhuti packets he told me just two things looking deep into my eyes two things he said love love is god god is love live in love second said aham karam aham i is constant akar the form when it gets attached it becomes aham karam love was very easy to understand because swami had given so many discourses that love has to be divine love has to be selfless unconditional changeless fearless only giving 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 it is not a business of give and take so that i could easily absorb it took me several years to understand what is this aham i and akar form okay 1987 swami ji gave uh, interview again in bindavan it was his style of introducing me to the senior people senior devotees in that interview he asked me what's your name swami ji bhagya what are you doing i said swami ji swami has appointed me as a mba boys professor what are you doing what sadhana first i sadhana word he didn't use what are you doing i said swami ji i am a chemical engineer from bombay university first class first mba he said forget about your chemistry and chemical engineering sir inquire who am i don't waste your time so he put me on a path of self inquiry i didn't know actually what is this inquire who am i in my mind i said lord i know that you are lord i left everything and i came here and then now you are asking me to inquire who you are who am i are i was you know lost he said see he i was this thought in my mind and he reflected 
Look, God is only a signpost. It will tell you the Bangalore is in this direction. You have to walk. You said the Bangalore atta. Bangalore is coming. Bangalore is coming. Bangalore is not coming. You have to walk towards Bangalore. Oh, I didn't know. What is that self inquiry? I came out. Then somebody gave me a book, Raman Maharshi's book. Where who am I? Was the chapter? I said, oh, it's a subject. It's a topic. I really tried my level best to listen to Swami's discourses, go on reading about the self inquiry. Who am I, Swami? Uh, what I gathered, Swami advises us to go within. In fact, directly also during this interaction, as a teacher sitting there, go within, go within, inquire. Who am I? I said, go within where? I started. Sitting silently, closing my eyes. So if Swami comes, well and good, in six o'clock. Otherwise, eyes closed. After darshan, go and sit in veranda or inside bhajan hall. Then morning bhajans, and evening again after darshan, after bhajan, go on sitting up to nine p.m. in the veranda. What exactly is self inquiry? What? Where do I go? Do I go like Hanuman? He found out the door of. Is a chest and seeing Swami Rama inside. What do I do? Go within where? One evening, Swamiji came out from interview room. He was talking, discussing with Colonel Jogarao. Then Swamiji opened the interview room door. I was sitting in the veranda. Dilemma: Should I open my eyes and look at Swami, or should I continue the assignment which he has given? Though the monkey mind. I uh, said, uh, or rather, I would say, uh, debate between hit, uh, heart and uh, the mind. Heart said that, "Arey, you are trying to search him here. He is physically there. Why don't you have additional darshan?" So I opened my eyes, looked at him, and he came. He gave me a very hard pat on my head. Okay, Swamiji went. I finished my the meditation of the day. Next morning. I came as usual after morning uh, darshan. Went and sat inside bhajan hall to find out who I am. With the close eyes. That day, moment I sat, as if my mind was sucked in where I do not know. Zip. Then what I find myself. Hey, I am like. A, Transparent sphere. These words do not express what I experienced. It's like ever expanding, goes on expanding, dimensionless. Such a huge sphere that I am. Oh, this body, tiny speck in me. The building, just one tiny dot. Trees, the roads, the mandir. Ah, not out of ego that oh now I know what no, humbled, full of love, full of humility. Came out, went to the college. I don't know till today what I taught that day. Afternoon darshan. As usual, all of us we came. I sat my usual place. Then Swami came. Closer to me during darshan time, looked at me. My gosh, whole thing like a prick to a balloon. Pssss, came back to not normal. Came back to abnormal position of what it was. That is normal position. Now mind kept on longing for that taste. Nineteen eighty nine. Swami ji showed the displeasure to <laughs> all the teachers and research scholars, so he stopped talking to them, talking to us, including me. Then uh, finally, it is his game because he wants us to 
remember over and over again our personal sadhana finally swamiji came to the institute and uh, he gave a discourse pointing out our mistakes and we are wasting our time i don't want to go into the details he went to so much minute details that how to set a question paper how to talk to student how to uh, the uh, correct the papers how to uh, take uh, lectures and involve participation with the students give them a chance and some people can express in words some people cannot so much and then he said i am interested in each one's individual sadhana and in this kali age the only sadhana which will take you to the goal is hari naam hari naam hari naam naam simran i was uh, given a privilege to video shoot sami's uh, discourse i was the towards the end of the hall now it is called multimedia room and uh, sami i was shooting uh, through the lens sami signaled me that hey keep the camera down i put the camera down and there was a chair i went and sat there you know chair was an inclined plane old chairs i went and relax oh now i have to only listen to sami's discourse moment i sat there sami looked at me all teachers the administrators register of vice chancellor everybody is sitting there he pointed to, to me sit straight bad habits my gosh what did i do because i was sitting like this because chairs inclined the backrest was like that so i did like this and all people were looking at me as if i am the culprit because of me somi was upset with all the teachers and it was a flip treatment i was also taken aback somi completed the discourse signal one boy he brought the basket of mangoes and somi uh, was picking up one one mango or rather boy was giving somi said and somi was enjoying making uh, each one catch the mangoes now for me everything was only spiritual significance and when he distributed all maybe about 90 100 people teachers research scholars and administrators and all i was seated the last the, near the wall somi came person boy gave mango to somi somi's hands he gave it to the other boy other person sitting next to me then i said oh today even prasadam i am not eligible i don't qualify so i was crying inside then meantime swami ji selected himself such a big mango from the basket when he picked up oh because i was the last person to be given i folded or held both the hands swami gave such a big mango and with the pressure hmm take namaskar he pressed my head to take namaskar again all eyes fell on me hey, what is happening even i was totally lost in the night contemplating replaying the video then i got the answer hey swami has told me he has given me a path it's my duty to be on that path and don't restart namasman because when swami said namasman is the only way in my mind the thoughts were going on are bhai 87 you told me that you inquire who am i i was enjoying till then only my namasman and now you are telling go back to namasman that means two and a half years i wasted that was turmoil in me and fight with him inside me and he reflected this way 
So I got the answer that I have given you a path. Believe me, when I used to sit for self-inquiry, even namas, because mind will go to Sai Ram, Sai Ram. You can't stop breathing. But mind was tuned. So that became a habit which was coming in the way of my self-inquiry. And he gave me a nice one to make me straight on the path. See, look at his uh, grace. Now, 1990, Swami restarted summer course of the gap of, after the gap of 11 years. And that was my first summer course in, uh, which I attended in Bindavan. In that discourse, I'm coming to my relevant point. Swami said, 24 hours you should do sadhana. Now, sadhana Swami has given me self-inquiry. So, I thought that even teaching is coming in my way. So, I should go and resign. I got clearance from Bhagwan there itself, the last day of the summer course in 1990, 3rd of June. My own way. In my mind, I said, Swamiji, I was still video shooting. And Swamiji, when you come closer to me, I want to take Namaskar. If you give me Namaskar, I will straight go and resign. With Swami, when I went there, asked Swami, Swamiji, can I take Namaskar? He said, uh -huh. no, no. take, take, take. He lifted his robe and gave me Namaskar. 5th of June, I left from there and came and resigned. Now, Swamiji came back from Vrindavan to Parthi. He prompted the desire in the minds of teachers. And I had already resigned, although the dean was not ready to accept my resignation. I told him my meter starts, whatever is the uh, time required. I am serving that. So, please don't say that I have not required. No, but I will not accept it. It's up to you. Swamiji came on 17th of June. Finally, Swamiji agreed with the teachers in 1990 Sunday morning. Swami called all the teachers for the interview. I was all the time seated, all, I mean, all these days seated behind a pillar. Swami comes, gives a darshan. Okay, again back to my the task which he has given. He has said 24 hours you should do sadhana. To the extent I went and told my wife and daughter that from now onwards I'll be sitting in the corner of the room. Don't ever disturb me. If I need food, I'll open my eyes and ask you. Swamiji called all the teachers, then my mind, <laughs> you know, hey, everybody is getting interview. I have resigned, but my resignation is not accepted. I am also entitled to go for an interview. So I was the last person to enter and Swami was at the threshold of the interview room and Swami gave me a pad. Lazy. So now, how to enter? Room was packed. Mind you, 70 teachers. Such a small interview room, those who have seen. They were all squeezed to sit. Now, how can I enter? I said, okay, let Swami enter first. Swami entered. They parted for Swami. And I was also following Swami. <laughs> and uh, Swami sat on the chair. Uh, I, I had no place to sit. So, Swami made one quite hefty uh, teacher get up, you are occupying the place of four people. And he got up, Swami said, you sit down next to Swami's lotus feet. And that guy had to stand on throughout for the interview. Now, here comes the most important thing. Swamiji started, sadhana, sadhana, sadhana. What is the meaning of sadhana? Sadhana is unification of the sadhak, the sadhana and the sadhyam, the goal. That is true sadhana. True sadhana is living together in a harmonious way. True sadhana is control of senses. Then he came straight at me. Hey Bhagya, kya sadhana karne ko chata hai? That means, hey Bhagya, what sadhana you want to do? He knows everything. He is Antaryami. 
then i also had a courage because i was following my conscience as a swami ji when i go and take the class my mind gets diverted from atma to the other subjects he did not allow me to complete this he said if you segregate this is spiritual this is worldly even in thousand births i will not give you what you want i was shattered i caught hold of his feet please saw me help me what mistake have i done then because back of the mind was sanctioning authorities telling me even in thousand birth i will not give you that means every birth if i keep on taking human birth 70 years on an average 70000 years gone no promise of what i want then swami said true sadhana is sanctify your time sanctify your talents i have given you so many experience share with the students doing job teaching is also sadhana you don't have to do any other separate sadhana see i have brought all these students and teachers as marshi tatvas i am going to cleanse the whole world through these students they have developed some dust and i have given you sadhana of removal of dust from their personality then he said see in a gunny bag of rice there will be four five grains of paddy paddy is also rice remove the husk removal of husk is your sadhana then he said finally you make them good out of your experience sharing your experiences with them then they will be worthy of being used as instrument in my hands then i'll give you what you want oh finally promised i'll give you what you want but i have to carry on his instructions swami ji 7th of june 1994 swami ji call us my family small family for interview along with that there was a big italian group and a and a group of uh, mr atal bihari vajpay that time he was mp and his uh, some associates then in the interview room i'm just coming to the point where relevant to me swami ji first started attending to italian group in italian language not one or two minutes some 10 12 minutes and later on i uh, found out from one person who knew english swami was asking that why have you brought 70 chairs and they said swami is the eve of 70th birthday and we brought wheelchairs to be uh, given here he said why waste money who told you that somebody said other guru said swami told them that if you keep uh, looking for many gurus you will lose the real guru in your life so like those serious discussion not making them laugh just simply few words swami knows about italian language no 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 then in the middle of talking to them swami asks mr vajpai vajpai do you know what language i am speaking no swami i am speaking italian with them because they don't understand even english so i have to speak in their language do you know italian language no swami their declaration god knows all languages sir okay then their attention or no attention to me and atal bihari ji and his group he asked me again swami is the style of introducing me to the vips hmm what's your name samji bhagya hmm what are you doing samji i am professor in swami ji's college for mb boy hey what are you doing i say swami ji whatever swami ji gives me i take it as a opportunity to do seva what sadhana are you doing i say swami ji i whatever remaining time i abide in self he said very seriously 
from now your sadhana is take everything as god see this sadhana what sadhana in my mind lot of things were running are even crooked person person insulting me fighting all everything god i have to take everything as god how is it possible then mind went even to you know lowest thing that see even the fickle matter is god chi swami reflected on that swami said dekho ba gaya see today eat you eat phal fruit tomorrow it becomes mala the fickle matter it's only question of time and mind you this fickle matter is used as a manure to grow again the fruits so it is just question of time everything is god mind you is not easy task huh is very easy to speak when you have to put into practice because he is my master whatever he says i have to put my sincere efforts so it's not easy to do that but that is the way okay now 1997 swami ji like a child he was so excited appearing to me that and many times interactions used to be because i consider him my best friend the most intimate friend so he would also reflect that he came and told me one evening during darshan uh, interactions bhagya do you know that uh, cricket international cricket match is being played here on 30th of december 1997 it will be uh, broadcast and uh, that day it had so happened that this is uh, it was very uh, new novelty at that time mind you i'm talking about 23 years back they gave promise to sami that sami will bring some equipment the match will be live broadcast so sami was sharing see i said sami ji you have ways and means to give darshan to the millions of devotees they will watch tv and everybody will know what is sai baba and what is prashanti nilayam and they will come running in the pretext of cricket match after seeing the cricket match he said no 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 i don't want quantity i want only quality sami they will naturally come for their goal for salvation he said no no sami your avatar would you have unlimited capacity your ship can carry as many sadhakas as you want he said no 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 not all will get realization i said swami ji even ordinary masters spiritual master they carry so many uh, disciples along with them in a boat and reach them the goal your ship has no limitation he said no only few will reach the goal during of the road i said swami ji how is that why he said see you people are now practicing sports for january 11th teachers also and last sunday which uh, uh, game you people were playing before i could say swami described everything he said see the one line was drawn for you teachers all of you are met to stand how many teachers were there i said swami 70 80 maybe 100 and far distance another line with a flag was shown to you people and the person sitting the near the teachers gave a whistle that you run towards the goal and in limited or given time whosoever reaches will be the winner not first second third whosoever reaches within limited time then how many did reach i said swami ji one exactly reached 
and second one he touched and time was over hmm see only two people reached out of 70 and odd as a swami ji that game is different i am talking about your unlimited capacity to carry all of us to reach the goal i said wait 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 two reached where were the others as a swami ji when the whistle was given all tried to go there some reached very close to the goal some maybe 75% 50% 25% some people one or two actually hardly few steps and then <laughs> he said ha ah. but every one of them had a clarity of the goal where we have to reach path was very clear that's exactly is this during this of the road i have given you the clarity of the goal i have shown you the path and if you continue in the same way just like in your match game all would have reached all will reach if they continue time no time limit but they will definitely reach similarly each one of us have progressed now it is left to us how much we want how fast we want to progress what is the priority we give to reach the goal he has given the goal clarity i said yes sami you are right then now i would like to tell you ultimately what is that capital i it's not outside goal is not outside goal is within unfortunately we identify with this body only but identify the consciousness body is an instrument without the body you can't even experience the consciousness consciousness which is universal in fact we are attempting to come to usa universal self awareness for that tofel jari all these things are required tofel is not the tofel is here is test of economy for liberation jari is gradual sorry god realization experience and to get a degree in usa that universal self awareness ms degree master of senses then you get bs that beyond senses then you get sb that is supreme bliss all of us have to strive for that another way very easy way which i found it very reasonable to uh, imagine and experience see for instance in this hall we call this is uh, uh, the interview room of uh, radio sai it is a room because of the walls you remove the walls the space here gets much in the space it is not different space same space in another room go on removing the wall under this building becomes one space remove those walls also boundary walls also then the space in this building is same as outside the space now if you identify if no consider yourself as a space subtler than all the five elements or rather subtlest of the five elements is a space subtler than that is a consciousness but let us space we can still visualize so if you are a space would you say that i am only this limited space of uh, the recording room no space is space knows but because of the wall it is limited for a particular purpose particular use but the space doesn't get affected so identify yourself with that pure awareness consciousness life force the self the capital s self the i when you do that all other things will lose the significance in the sense you will not be affected by good and bad right and wrong so this is the way he has shown the path and go ahead and mind you this is not the, still the final goal final goal is prior to consciousness when you live in consciousness love everyone everybody you take as the embodiment of same consciousness then same consciousness will allow you to transcend the consciousness you be what you are that is nothingness that is the true 
self not self that is true non dual darshan i hope with his grace and our sincere efforts definitely because of guidance from this avatar avatar we will all reach the goal with this i take your leave i hope you have uh, at least enjoyed few points which will help you in the journey of from e y e to capital i i to i sayra